Hey, good morning, guys. Well, I'm down here uh, just going over this 95 here, 100 combine. I had a question there in the one video I did is, are we having any problems? No. Um, what I am doing is going around and, and uh, just giving tightening up chains. Uh, this is a real low hour machine, so everything you see is pretty much like new. I mean, the paint is still on the sprockets on the tips there yet. Um, it just sat. So uh, we just got done tightening up the return elevator chain. We got them all nice and wet. Ran it there for about an hour and a half yesterday or the day before. Um, had to bleed the brakes. Just give them up some brake fluid. Uh, we did go over and grease the whole thing. Justin was helping me. I just tightened up the unloading auger chain. And that stuff wasn't even done from new. The paint is still where it was on the top of the bolt. So it's all from factory as far as I know. Uh, the belts, you know, from sitting a little bit, they might show some dry age, but nothing, nothing bad we could find. Um, there you can see the hours on there. On the uh, hydraulic uh, filter there, everything is just like a time capsule, what I would consider it. Uh, just going around things here, he did grease the walkers again. Very important to keep them nice and uh, greased. You don't want any problems there. Uh, just the paint on the pan here just barely wore off. The sieves are like new. Paint up there on the front yet. Just a short little video of what we're doing. We're going to get ready to go out here and do some corn. I got my helper here today. He's checking things for me too. So. He was there pumping the brake pedals in the cab when I say push down and then I could bleed them. And uh, so, yeah, we're all but ready to go here now. Uh, we had a little mud out there the other day. Uh, we want to try to do some beans. Um, there was a rubber seal right there. We had to replace that. A mouse somewhere online chewed a hole in there. We just didn't want to have a lot of dust out here. But yeah, again, everything's like mint. I mean, there's paint and everything. Uh, still plastic on the seats. Uh, Justin wanted to know if I took it off yet. He was cleaning the windows there for me. Feeder house chain, everything we, were, we just went around, snugged it up uh, before we started, and then uh, we'll get 10 or 11 hours on it here and then go over it again. Um, and chain's setting. The chains were a little dry, but they're like new. And uh, yeah. Uh, checked the engine oil this morning. Good. Everything, everything's just amazing way it uh, came to me. Uh, I did not expect ever. I just say here things are not even adjusted yet. Green paint, nothing has changed. And there's that could be a belt tighten a little bit. Uh, that's what drives me crazy. It just stuff is, you know. You can tell, very, very low hour machine. If this was a uh, John Deere or tractor with that kind of hours on it, you'd never touch it. Uh, it'd be in the $150,000 range for this year. It's a 1994 John Deere 9500. And just everything, just immaculate. Transmission, never, never ever, I mean, hardly touch brakes. are still green. A little paint flaking there and stuff, just from sitting. But yeah, like I said, if this was a uh, John Deere tractor, anything with a 900 hour range on it, 150,000 all day long for 1994. Uh, don't matter what model it was. Uh, low hour tractors bring top dollar. So why don't combines bring top dollar? Uh, go price a 900 hour machine today in any model, um, especially the newer ones, you're you're almost in a six-figure income or a six-figure price range so yeah so we're getting ready to go out and make a couple passes here with her this morning hope everybody has a great day and uh he's all excited to get in the buddy seat and uh checking things out yeah so i was just wanting to answer that question this morning and uh yeah again a low 900 hour machine 
I put on it about two hours now since I had it, if that. So, so far I really enjoy it and uh, I just all the stickers are really nice and clean and it just reminds me of a machine right off of the showcase floor, really. Now it's got a little dust on it and stuff here, so. But. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Have a great morning. Hey, good morning guys. Well, the wind blew all last night so this stuff is nice.